New Gimbal time, new gimbal. And I wanted to talk about this one because I think this one's kind of cool. Biggest reason is we are seeing all kinds of companies releasing these portable, portable gimbals right now. Osmo has one, Adam's had one for a while. Zayun, I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right, has one coming out. I think it's on a Kickstarter right now. I'm not 100% sure. But it's a big thing to be able to have a portable gimbal that works with your smartphone so that you don't have to lug something around. That's the reason that you're using a smartphone. The folks at Feutech sent us their new vlog pocket and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that right now. All right guys, so we're gonna do this in actually two videos, just so you guys know, because I don't want these videos to be too long. We're gonna do this video right here, which is gonna be like an unboxing, take a quick look at it so you guys can see it. And then number two is that we're going to actually connect it to our smartphone, so an iPhone, and we are going to test the software and see how well it balances and stuff like that. That'll be in video number two, and that will be coming out just shortly after this video, so we can keep them smaller. This is it, this is the box. Feotech Vlog Pocket Foldable Smartphone Gimbal. And and I'll be honest with you, I've opened a box and, and it's it's tiny. All right, hold on, let's just spin this around. So not much on the back. It does have the ability, which is kind of cool, to come in two different colors. So a dark black, which is what I got, and a Sakura Pink. So if you're wanting that pink color, an option, which is cool. All right, list of items, it does say here, Vlog Pocket, Tripod, Storage Bag, Quick start guide, micro USB, and Feotech, 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 Feotech. A uh, bunch of stuff on here. Foldable, pocketable, portrait and landscape shots, object tracking, control smartphone camera. And that's kind of cool. That's a big one I want to talk about. Control smartphone pocket, control smartphone camera. Get that right. And this is big for a lot of companies. Not that big with the iPhone, but it can be but hugely for the Android platform because what happens is a lot of the apps don't seem to necessarily function or they don't have an app for a lot of these gimbals on the Android side. So what happens with Feotech here in the vlog pocket is that it connects to your phone as a Bluetooth controller and that allows the start stop button on the actual gimbal to work with the default camera on your smartphone, which is huge because if you have a gimbal which is balancing, which is awesome, but you still have to touch the screen every time you wanna hit the record button, that automatically starts a wobble. But if you can even use the default camera app and hit it from here, that means this is compatible really with any smartphone, which is huge. I don't have to have a specific brand. If that works, that's awesome. I believe that's what they're saying. So let's crack this open, ready? My computer here is making all kinds of noise. Just ignore it. All right, what do you get? So you get more information, visit our websites, social media, stuff like that, cool. You get a this past all the stuff, you know, past all the quality assurance, quality checkers. You get your Feotech remote. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the warranty is, but my guess, my guess is gonna be a year, I would say. They pretty much all have a year on them, there you go. Uh, vlog pocket start guide, so happy to see a actual guide like this that's a good size it's not thick not thick by any means but what they did is they made it bigger which means every last bit of font here I have no problems reading you can download the apps the QR codes work super good all right put that back over here as well oh here it is okay so we'll bring out the gimbal in a second so we do get a nice little bag right nice little bag just carry that and it's soft so you could probably clean your phone or your lenses with that. That's nice, put that there. We do get a little stand, which is also cool. So I love the fact that they did this. And funny enough, I love the fact that they actually gave you one that's really small. See how small that is, right? It is designed to balance it. And because we're keeping this gimbal so small, we don't want a huge tripod that's gonna make the gimbal big. Right, that's, that's why would we want a big tripod legs on such a tiny gimbal? That just doesn't make any sense. And last but not least, of course, we do have our micro USB cable and we'll throw that over there as well. All right, so ready? Yeah, okay, look how, I'm gonna bring this up with my hand. Look how small that is. 
Now, I'm going to compare this. I have, I'm going to put this here for a second. I have over here the Snopa Atom. Okay, so the Snopa Atom. I'm just going to fold it up here a bit because I want you guys to see this. And this is about the same size as the DJ Osmo. Without question, it's 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 no it's no bigger really, and I have a, a video that shows a comparison between those two. I'm gonna put this up against so you can get an idea. So just remember, this is the same size as what the Osmo Three is, as well as well this one, right? Ready? Check that out. Look how small this thing is. Like it's tiny, right? Look at that. Look at look at this. Look how tiny that is. That's nuts. Even like from the bottom, right? I'll show you guys from up here. Look how th just, it's so small. This, this is pocketable. If you have big enough pockets. And again, same size as the Osmo. This, oh my gosh, that's so tiny. Super good. Okay, so, and a few things that I really like, they, they really worked on their locks, which is cool. So you have a kind of a slider here. So you just spin this all the way so that it pops out like so. And then you just tighten it back up again, right? And now she's in position. Every one of these has a snap lock. You can kind of hear it. Get that out of position as well as this one, right? So in here, boom. And now she's now she's ready to go. So same thing here. Look how tiny this is. So if you look at here, just kind of do a, an overview, I guess. These are all your lock points. You can see locks down here. You can see a lock up here. You can see a lock point up here. So you have to make sure before you turn it on that you undo all those lock points. You have your charging, so USB right here. You have your your on button. You have your switch between video and photo, and I believe this is your mode button as well. So super simple. This is one of the things that you have to realize. This gimbal is really simple. It's designed to do the basics. It's designed to just work really well. A lot of things you can do inside the app. So you will be able to do things like your motion tracking with the app for you know object tracking, face tracking, things like that. You will be able to do your time lapse. You will be able to do all kinds of things. But one of the things you may notice is that there is no joystick on here. And for anybody that may have previously used something like the Smooth 4, which also didn't have one, you just kind of had to get in the habit of realizing that you kind of spun it in that kind of follow mode. And once you got it to where you wanted it, you could actually change modes and lock it there. All right, so you use that feature a lot. And and for those of us that use the old Smooth 4, which is a big gimbal comparatively to these, once you got used to it, it wasn't a big deal anyway. And even on my Atom and when I had the Osmo 3, I actually barely used the joystick. So not a big thing anyway. Um, on the back, you do have a trigger. Hopefully you can see that trigger right there. And the trigger will do a lot of the same kind of things. You know, the trigger will double click it. We'll be able to center it if it's, you're having problems getting it back in the center and things like that. So again, very, very cool. Last but not least on the very bottom, hopefully you guys can see that there is your tripod threading. So if you so chose, you can just kind of take this, right? Just kind of spin that on. And even now it's not too big, but big enough, big enough. You guys can get it out there and do stuff. You know, slide that out like that. Voila. That is that is probably the best right now travel gimbal because you could carry this with you, both pieces. Put the little tripod in your left pocket. Put the gimbal in your right pocket. Smartphone on there, right? We've got a little smartphone. This guy here. We're not even going to use an app. Camera, camera out, it says this way. Sure, there it is. Let's just see if that works. Just make sure it's balanced at least a little bit. Okay, we're good. And same kind of idea. Push. Boop, boop, boop. There it is. Oh, that's so good. That's so awesome. That is the unboxing and quick look of the Feotech Vlog Pocket. Vlog Pocket. Oh, that's super cool. Super cool. That's probably the smallest gimbal out right now. And it's funny because, you know, you don't hear a lot about it. But I think this one, if you're really looking for something that's travel friendly, this may be the guy. This may be the fella. This may be the one that you want. We're going to stop here. I'm going to be doing a follow up video probably in the next couple of days uh, where we test the software just to see what it's like. But hey, like that's no problems. Nothing wrong with that. You know, and I believe it's a, I can't even remember, double click on the mode button maybe. Maybe it is. There it is. 
right? For for you Instagram story people, right? Double click on the mode button. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I got to do some manual reading just to make sure I understand what's happening. And uh, watch for it. Follow up video coming right away. I'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to go get some more info or to buy one of these. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Later, my friends. So good. So good.